Hello, let us try another program. Program about string. String data types. Actually, there is no primitive string data type in C or C++ languages. We have only character data type or we can have array of characters char or char arrays or we can have char pointers character array or character pointer can be used for storing string data type character array in the sense a sequence of memory locations used to store a number of characters in a character variable usually we can save only we can store only one character a single character but in the case of character array we can have a number of characters depends upon the size of the array and character star is also doing the same thing uh, in the case of star character star the character star is called character pointer this is used to store a sequence of characters from a particular memory locations and it will be allocating contiguous memory addresses for storing some characters let us see how it is done In this program, let us try with character star, that is character pointer, str, str is the name of the character uh, variable and we can initialize some string with the string variable str it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com that's my email id let me copy and paste the code print of percentages comma str percentages is used because this is a string type of data if you are using character then we will be using percentage c if it is integer we will be using either u i or d normally we are using d but in this case we are using percentage s this is for string so this is the program we have a variable here and it is a character pointer variable or a string variable here we can store many characters i is a single character, t is another single character all the individual characters are combined to form a string of characters that's why we call it as string and we are using a string variable with character pointer data type because we don't have any string data type directly in C or C++ languages and we are printing the string value the variables value we are printing with the help of format specifier percentage s let me save the program the name of the program is str1 the program got compiled let me run the program okay it got displayed my email id it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com it got printed that's all the program let us do some modifications in the program we can go with character array instead of character pointer but in my opinion character pointer is easy you just have to put a star after the data type char char but in the case of array 
char then we have to give variable name then we have to open and close the brackets put an equal to symbol okay i have the code let me copy it okay this is an array of characters this is this data type is character data type and the variable name is str but it is an array of characters the size of the array is not given not given explicitly but it can calculate the system can calculate from the number of characters given s h a j i this much characters these many characters are going to be stored in the str variable then we are printing in the same way there is no difference if you are using this pointer method or array method i have given two slashes here so that this line of code will not be executed this will be just ignored by the compiler this is called commenting we are just commenting this program this line of code within the program so that the program will not consider this particular line so we are trying with this line now this statement now character array let me save the program let us see whether it is giving proper display of the string array or not uh, let me compile it once again okay it got compiled let me execute yeah i got the display s h a j i s h a j i that's my first name and something more is coming but we were not supposed to get all those values because i is the last character given here so in this case the compiler is not sure where, where to stop it that's why this problem is coming we can uh, do it by do it manually by giving by giving a slash zero at the end we have a string of characters or individual characters it will finally form a string and it will be stored into the string variable it's an array of variables and in the array each and every character will be stored in unique places the first character will be stored in str zeroth pos position the h will be stored in the first position a will be stored in the second position j will be stored in the third this will be in the fourth and this slash zero is used to indicate that this is the end of this string no more characters are going to come so this is used to indicate that this is the end and slash zero is a character that is called a terminating character of string string termination character and don't confuse that slash is a character and zero is another character it is not like that exactly slash zero is a single character in the ansi standard it is treated as a single character slash zero it's a kind of control character it is used to indicate the end of string let me save the program compile and link it again run it okay now this time i am getting the perfect output no more characters nine at all those symbols were coming in the previous compilation now exactly my first name is coming s h a j i s h a j i so if you are using array in this way you have to give the termination character at the end of the string okay this is string data type string we can use the string data type with the help of character pointer or character array if you are giving character pointer you can use it like this if you are using array you can go for like this too try this program only two statements if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me